What is going on, gang? Bear with me. Yes, this is another battery, but I've said this before in a, in a couple of videos ago. There's 100 million of these LiPo 4 batteries, and luckily for us, the consumer, they're getting cheaper, they're getting smaller, and they're putting more features into these batteries. So the last battery that I reviewed that I loved was the lead time 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery with Bluetooth and low temp protection. Battery did phenomenal. It's $329 right now on Amazon. This is from Vader, Vatra, Vader. Let's go with Vader for this video. It's the exact same Group 24 size battery. It's $289, so it's, it's cheaper than that lead time battery. It's got a 100 amp BMS, it's got Bluetooth in it, it's got a low temp cutoff feature built into it, and it's cheaper than that lead time. So guys, this is a good thing for us. These battery manufacturers are really starting to, to pack these batteries with features lower that price. I mean, two years ago, these batteries like this probably would have been five or 600 bucks. So I'm not gonna draw this video out, guys. I did some testing on this battery and I'm gonna show it to you in this video. Uh, the most, one of the most important things is this is rated at 100 amp hour. So to make sure that you're getting what you pay for and you get at least 100 amp hour discharge off of this thing, I did hook up my standard DC capacity tester, discharged it all the way down until the BMS cut this battery off due to low voltage. And I was able to get 102 amp hours. So. You're getting your money's worth if all you need is 100 amp hours, but let's move over now to the discharge testing of this thing to make sure that that works well. And uh, then we'll check out the low temp charging protection and we'll come back and give final thoughts. So we're gonna start the 100 amp discharge test here in just a second, but I get a lot of questions on this inverter here and people are asking how many, you know, how much power does this inverter use in standby mode? And if you can see here by my smart shunt, that inverter is pulling 5.33 watts. So these Gandels, again, this is my second Gandel. I've got a 3000 watt Gandel. Uh, they're very, very efficient in my opinion. I'll accept five watts in standby mode all day long. I think that's uh, doable for an inverter that's not a thousand dollars. So we are going to go ahead and get my heat gun plugged up to this thing to make sure that we can discharge uh, at least a hundred amps for around five, six, seven, eight minutes. Make sure that battery does okay. So I'm gonna dial this up and show you, if you guys take a look at this amp meter right here, I'm gonna dial this up until we get as close to 100 amps as I can get it. I'd say that's pretty close, 99 to 100 amps. So let's get our stopwatch going here. And we'll come check back in five minutes to make sure everything's working well. And then we're gonna see if we can get this thing to trip. Okay, hitting that five minute mark and stop. Let's go check the shunt so I can kind of show you folks what's going on here. So we're still pulling 100 amps, 1200 and around 1240 watts. And that has taken nine amp hours out of that battery in these five minutes. Okay, so we know 100 amps discharging, no problem, piece of cake for this thing. Let me crank this heat gun all the way up. And that's gonna throw us up to 131 amps. And there we go. So that was not my inverter cutting off. That was the BMS in this battery doing its job, which is a good thing. You know, some of these batteries that I've tested will go up to 180, 190 amps and continue to run, almost like that BMS isn't tripping that over discharge protection feature. So uh, this battery did just do that at around 130 amps. 
after around two or three seconds. So let me reset all this because I do want to show you the app that this battery comes with so you can kind of see the information that it gives you. So let's see how accurate this, this app is. So this is the, the app that comes with this battery. And hopefully if that gets in focus, you can see we're sitting at 89%, 12.95 volts. This shunt's showing 12.75 volts, but it is going through all this other stuff. So maybe this is more accurate coming straight from the battery. That I don't know. It's gonna give you all four of the cell voltages so you can kind of monitor each cell to make sure they're all in balance. It's gonna give you your last session of max volt, max charge, max power, and the minimum volt and minimum discharge that that battery just went through. And it's gonna give you some other kind of boring information that no one really cares about. But right now, the, the, what I like to see the most is it shows you the watts going in and out. So it's showing discharge right there at 792 watts. And this is pretty close, 782 watts. So that's about 10 watt difference, but not, not overly terrible. But this is the app that comes installed with this Vader battery. So now that I've got this battery discharged at least a little bit from 100%, I know that it needs to be charged up to get to 100%. So I'm gonna go stick this in my deep freeze overnight, and we're gonna come back in the morning and try to connect this up to a charger to see if that low temp protection feature actually works on it. Because uh, if it does, this is gonna be one of those batteries, man, that um, everything on it seems to be Seems to be working pretty well and you get quite a few features packed into this little mini size 100 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. So we'll check back in in the morning. Well gang, this should be a good test. I, uh, I kind of forgot about this to be honest and it's been sitting in this chest freezer for three days. So it is well beyond freezing. So let's go see if uh, when we hook up a charger to it, what's gonna happen. She is cold. You can probably see the frost building up. And I don't know, I mean, just the uh, right around the terminals, that's sitting at 23 degrees. The internal cells are going to be much colder than that. But let's first see if I can get these caps off, which doesn't look like it. There we go. New favorite screwdriver, by the way. Klein Tools just picked it up. It's a sweet little screwdriver. Anyway, a little bit off topic. Let's see if this charger will actually get this battery jump started or not. We don't want it to. Okay, kind of started and it should kick off. There we go. So it's not charging. So I can confirm that the low temp charging protection feature on this thing does work. I am curious if I'm able to still access the Bluetooth on this battery with it being in such a deep freeze state. Uh, showing waiting for data. Oh, wow, okay. So it does show up on Bluetooth and it's actually showing that I do have a charger connected. You can see those arrows lighting up, but I am not inputting anything. So where it says power zero watts, uh, that's showing that there's no wattage going into that battery to charge it, but uh, it does actually pull up Bluetooth. And the temperature inside, if you guys can see that, says minus 15.3 degrees Celsius, which is magic of Google, because we're in America, and I don't know it, is five degrees Fahrenheit. So that thing's cold. How do you pick nowadays? I don't really know. Uh, I guess you go with lowest price. Um, Vader has been around. I've reviewed a couple of their batteries, and they've all done really well. Um, and they're a little bit cheaper than the lead time battery that I just reviewed that is basically the exact same battery, just different colors. Same features, same everything, but this Vader is just a little bit cheaper. The battery's good, it performed well. I didn't see anything wrong with it. If you need a small 100 amp hour battery, you know, Bluetooth, which is awesome to have. Uh, it's really easy to log into the app, check your state of charge, check your, your amount of watts going in if you're charging it. Check your amount of watts going out if you're using it in your RV and you're curious how much of that battery is actually being used to power stuff in your RV or whatever the case is. I just like having that feature. Low temp work great, battery work great, done. That's all I can say. So guys, if you're in the market for this, these things go on sale all the time. Check for sales because they're all basically kind of the same nowadays, right? So uh, this again, $289.99. I can't find this on Amazon, which is kind of strange to me. Vader has a few other batteries on Amazon but this one uh, is only on their website. So I will leave their, their standard website down below. It is not an affiliate link. I'm not tied to Vader, so I'm not gonna get any kind of kickback if you go buy it 
from their website, but if you try to find this on Amazon, it's not there right now. It might be later, but anyway, gang, this is the Vader 100 amp hour, low temp, Bluetooth, Group 24, LiPo 4 battery. So until next time, folks, see you soon. Take care.